Hey guys, hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm Devansha Gruwal and you're watching Tech University. Today I have brought you another data science course that is offered by the University of Waterloo situated in Canada. So this is one of the course that is uh, looked out by a lot of candidates yet a lot of people don't know about it. So I'll be telling you about the program overview, the curriculum eligibility criteria, the section procedure, how to apply, scholarships and fees. So stay tuned to the last of this video to know everything about this course. Now, if we talk about the university's profile a little bit, so this is the QS page of University of Waterloo and uh, you have got a world rank of 149, which is a very decent one given the Canadian Institute's increasing reputation over the years and the student to faculty ratio is a bit off, but it's okay, 18 is to 1 is a good one and scholarships, yes. In fact, there are a lot of scholarships I'll be telling you about in a while and uh, there are more than 10,000 international students there so yeah they focus a lot on calling international students as well now if we talk about uh, the rankings by subject so they have got a world rank of 23 by computer science and information system so this is one of the brilliant institutes in the world for computer science and this course is offered by the computer science department only and if we see the graduate employability ranking is 25 so it is most trusted universities among the graduate employers so you will be having a lot of offers after you graduate from this course now if you talk about this course so this course offers admissions in three terms fall winter and spring so the delivery is in on campus there are three terms for full-time students so it will be a 12 month course it will be spanned across three quarters and for part-time students it will be nine terms that is 36 months and uh, for that part-time students you will be getting a professional degree and for full-time students you will be getting a master's degree study option it is a coursework so it is not a research based uh, course and you will have to complete a project rather than writing a thesis and uh, the admissions requirement bare minimum are that you hold a bachelor's degree equivalent in data science computer science or statistics or mathematics or any related field perhaps with an average of 78 percent and you need to have an experience of computer science or statistics and the students uh, need to have their resume supplementary information form and transcripts filled up and you need to provide three references and out of those three two should be academic sources so uh, one of the college professors uh, will have to give you the two references and there is an English language proficiency for the people for the international candidates more specifically and uh, if you talk about the course curriculum there are nine courses that you have to complete one of them is a foundation course five are the core courses and three are the elective courses so one foundation course is you have to take a fundamental of computer science or data science if you are not from a CS background maybe from a math background and uh, vice versa so as to set up your foundation and five core courses that you have to complete uh, one of them is exploratory data analysis and one of them you have to select from these two courses and one from these three courses one from a bucket of these four courses and one from a bucket of these three courses and finally you have to select three elective courses from a very long list of uh, electives that they offer so I will pass this link in the video description you can always check out these courses now if we talk about overview of this program so the application deadline will be January 15th for the admissions in September so the applications are open right now and you can apply until January 15th and as I told you about the minimum admissions requirement you have to have a degree four-year degree experience in computer science or statistics and as for English language proficiency you need a TOEFL score of 100 and an IELTS score of 7.5 uh, if we talk about the tuition fees for international students more specifically it will be 5110 Canadian dollars per course so there are nine courses as I told you about so it will correspond to 45,990 Canadian dollars which approximates to 27.25 lakh Indian rupees and there is another fees that is known by the name of incidental fees which goes by 703.01 per term so there are three terms so 703.01 times 3 is equal to 2109 Canadian dollars or equivalent to 1.25 lakh Indian rupees so if we add up all these costs it will correspond to around 28.5 lakh Indian rupees if we talk about the English language proficiency in more detail if they, they have said that they accept a lot of scores TOEFL, IELTS, MILAP, KAIL, PT, IFAS but I would suggest to go for either TOEFL or IELTS because it is most of the widely accepted tests all over the globe so any university will accept these two scores 
and uh, as i already told you about the proficiency language uh, language requirements and the course shouldn't be more than 2 years old there are a lot of exemptions from the english language proficiency for certain countries this is not valid for indian students but anyway if you are watching this video from canada guam guyana jamaica kenya liberia malawi malta namibia nigeria sri lanka so most of the african countries are exempted from this so it's a good option for you guys and uh, if we talk about the international admissions equivalencies more specifically for india so you need to have a four year bachelor's degree at least four years of prior study so if you don't have a bachelor's degree that is four years like bsc or bca you are still eligible to apply given you complete a master's degree after that maybe msc or mca and you need to have a score of 8 out of 10 cgp basically now if we talk about how to apply so this is the page that they have given and they have given two videos i will pass this link to you in the video description uh, they have given this uh, tips on writing on sop and preparing your graduate application and uh, there are some steps uh, before you apply so let's just go into it now they say before you apply you need to understand the types of admissions uh, basically if you want to go for a graduate or a doctoral program and understand the admissions and English language proficiency requirement that I already told you about in this video you don't need to worry about that uh, if there is a supervisor so this is a coursework based course uh, so you don't need to find a supervisor supervisor is generally assigned in the research based uh, courses and then you have to contact your referees of course for the referrals now step two is applying basically now for applying you can apply through ontario's university application center and to avoid hassle they advise you to apply two to four weeks ahead of your deadline and you need to create an account and ensure that you select the correct program and you provide the application information whatever questions they ask you you need to fill in that and finally you have to pay uh, an application fee of 125 canadian dollars so that would correspond to around 7400 indian rupees and this is one of the techniques on how you can apply to a program another one is waterloo student account so they have given another way on how you can apply uh, through the waterloo's website itself and you will be given a eight digit uh, student id number this is basically your reference number application number or you can say finally you will be able to log in into the quest this is the um, name that they have given to their portal you have to upload the application documents contact information everything basically and here you can also view accept decline the offer letter if you have any from waterloo finally after you have applied what to do after you have applied understand the admission review process how the admission review goes on and wait for your admission decisions then you can offer review your offer letter and conditions of admissions basically there there are certain situations where conditional admissions are provided given that the student's profile is excellent but there are a few documents that needs to be still verified so that is called a conditional admission so these are the things that you have to check all as well after you have applied and yes so for the new students who have got the offer congratulations you have to check out the new students page before the start of the term now if we talk about graduate funding and awards database so this is one of the things that most of the guys will be looking for so this is the funding database and uh, they have provided a very long uh, list of scholarships and you can always filter them using these criterions and i will go one by one on any of the criterion so our course is masters award type we don't we don't have any problem with any but anyway i will find some scholarships selection process any i mean i don't have any problem with any selection process and affiliation no problem any program data science i'll go with data science let's just search where is data science here it is and the term no problem at all i can go with any citizenship we do need international citizenship and submit the form there you go this is the awards database and there is a lot of scholarships as you can see there are 40 that they are displaying so you can always explore these i explored a lot of them and i, I mean i won't be able to explain all of them in this video 
but i will pass this link into the video description and you can always give it a read and apply to the scholarships that you feel match to your profile one of the scholarships anyway i would like to explain is the ontario graduate scholarship and the queen elizabeth II graduate scholarship in science and technology this is a scholarship that is provided to canadian and international students alike and for this uh, the value is a maximum of 15000 canadian dollars per year so there are three terms basically so it will be spanned across three terms 5000 dollar per term and that is a very good option you can avail given the fees i mean it will be deducted to three fourths of course if you get that and uh, you will have to uh, apply for this particular uh, scholarship in a separate uh, in a separate application form and uh, of course the duration is uh, for a minimum of two terms or three terms basically so you are three terms so there is no problem you will be having a fifteen thousand dollars if you receive this so 195 scholarships will be awarded to canadian students and five will be awarded to international students and uh, these are the important dates for international students, October 9. This, these are the dates that are outdated, of course, because it was uh, last year's date. It will be uh, refreshed soon, I guess. Now, if you talk about another scholarship option, which is graduate teaching assistantship and graduate research assistantship. This is basically RENTAs you must have heard about from your friends. So if the department feels like you have some skills, uh, they can assign you G, uh, uh, TA or RA based on your skills. So if you are... Um, more into research even if you are into coursework so a professor who has seen your knack of research uh, might assign you this research assistantship and uh, they can pay you as in the case of teaching assistantship as well so if your professor feels like you are good enough to teach undergraduate students they will assign you teaching assistantship and for that you will be paid around 7200 per term Oh, so that is a very good option you can avail as well. $7,200 is a very good amount, handsome amount. And for R is research assistance. Uh, this is RA for masters, effective May 1. Uh, these are the updated. So you will be paid a total of $6,865 Canadian dollars. This is one of the greatest things about uh, University of Waterloo. So even if you are studying, you can teach or maybe you can help your professor in research and get paid. So you don't need to go outside to do your part-time job for earning your living. That is one thing that they have got covered. So this was all about the MDSAI program offered by the University of Waterloo. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends friends who are looking for master's courses and i will continue to post similar data science courses across the globe till then au revoir